Look what my wife's doing. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Afternoon, everyone. How you guys doing today? Um, I figured today I want to do a little bit of show and tell at my work, a, a little bit more in depth of what I do. If you guys even care to watch, I'm gonna. This is what it looks like when I come into my office. I got three or four different Chromebooks right here. These ones are needing parts. I got to figure out what's wrong with these. I got to remove batteries from these. So kind of a lot of tech stuff goes on. Obviously, in here is what I do. Um, so I'm gonna just fix some of these and show you guys some simple stupid how to's because honestly anyone who has an electronic or technical problem with an electronic that they have can 95% of the time can fix it themselves if you order the parts if you know what you need anything Mac related you have to probably order from them which is super expensive but like stuff like this you know whatever the issue is like this will not turn on so I already assume that it's just the battery somehow and I'll tell you, I'll show you how to take it apart and pull out the battery. Simple, stupid stuff, really. Like, you don't even need to be a tech dude to do this at all. So I'm just going to, I don't know, just take you guys into my work and kind of what I do and seeing how, seeing how I uh, fix some things. So this is student dropped on accident. Can it be fixed? I don't know what's wrong with it. This says, um, what is this? Oh, it says, has something broken in the blank? <laughs> I don't know. This will not turn on again, like I said. And this is the screen is crazy. So it's either one of the wires in the connections or it just needs a new LCD or something like that. So let's get into it now. Okay guys, just like the clip the other day, Code Red has been like my go-to Mountain Dew recently. I don't know why. Like I love normal Mountain Dew, I love Baja Blast, I love all these Mountain Dews, but like for some reason I'm just, I love Code Red. Let's get back to work. <laughs> so I'm gonna tackle this little issue right here. Okay, so someone sent in a little tag. This corner is broken right here and so with that they're having issues keeping the screen like on I guess which is kind of weird all you have to do is just re-snap this outer layer shut of the bezel so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take off the bezel right here I'll show you that and then I'm gonna super glue this corner where it needs to be in place so they won't be having issues like that anymore let's do this okay this tool right here this gets in between the bezel and the actual back part of the screen. You're just going to pop this all the way out like that. All the way around. Whoops. I really don't have the setup for this. Now this bezel's away. I put some super glue in it and I'm just holding it to make sure it stays glued. I might have to add a little bit more to that problem, but then that should be fixed. That simple. One down, four to go can never have too many plastic cups to put the screws in guys so let's take off the back of this and replace the battery of this Dell Chromebook what you gotta do next once the back is open take off all the screws like I said stupid simple I didn't do that <laughs> my bad there we go just take out the battery cord I'm not filming this properly. Just pull the battery cord out. Then you're gonna have to undo the screw, screw, and that's it. Just two, just two screws for the battery replacement. So the battery's taken out. Pop those two screws out, and you're good. But I have an issue. I don't have any Dell batteries. So what I'm gonna do is try to take this Dell battery out, put it in here, to see if that's the issue. Sometimes you can just do that with if you have spare parts, spare pieces, just to see. I'm gonna troubleshoot it. So I'm gonna take this battery out of this one right here, put it in here. And we'll see if it works. My, my camera battery is dying though, so I need to charge it. So we'll, I'm gonna get this last bit of footage of this thing and then we'll, I'll probably just finish it there. Well again, another fail at my attempt to fix this. This is a different battery. It's 50 watts and this is 45 watts or 43 watts. So guys, I really need to get a better setup if I'm gonna even film something for this, like film something like this for you guys. Uh, I was just bored and wanted to film something, but uh, yeah, so I just got these two issues and uh, I need to figure it out But that's kind of kind of what I do guys figure out issues mix and match parts and fix Laptops if you guys do have tech questions shoot them my way. This isn't a tech channel. Obviously it's our vlog channel, but like I Might be able to help with something if you have an issue. Let me know But uh, I'm gonna be out and I'll get Haley on here in a bit Okay guys, I just tried to film some stuff um, maybe I can do like, you know, a 
Tech Tuesday or something simple, stupid for, you know, just to have extra stuff on our channel. Um, Cause I worked in the tech department and I work on these laptops. This is what I was doing, fixing some things. Um, but I will get some videos out there because I want to, cause I, it's my passion. I like doing this stuff. So maybe I'll do like a Tech Tuesday or something and, and throw some tech tips your guys' way. If you guys have laptops, MacBooks, or, you know, cause we work with everything, um, Mac, PC. So I might throw some stuff in there and have a little Tech Tuesday video. Who knows? Tell me if you guys like that idea. If you guys have tech issues with things, would you guys like me to have videos about that? So Watermelon Whisper, she's been craving this for how long? Forever. <laughs> Her process, knocking on watermelons. Knocking on melons, eh? <laughs> Her reaction to my last comment. <sighs> How many of you guys know about this technique? How many of you guys knock on melons to see uh, what they sound like? What is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, she said this one's good, like <laughs> evil. <laughs> what do you guys think of these jammies, huh? Cute little things. Rawr! Look what my wife's doing. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> guys, these things are great marketing. You walk past and smell it, and we're gonna buy this instead. <laughs> of our lasagna and bread. It's cheaper anyways, we're gonna go put these back like good customers. We're home now from Walmart. And to eat up our good chicken, Haley's gonna cook some potatoes to add with it. But we got some movies, guys. Redbox, we got Creed and Daddy's Home, whatever that one is, with Will Ferrell and uh, Mark Wahlberg. Looks pretty funny, I'm excited. And her watermelon. Weirdo. Look at that face. Delicious watermelon. Delicious watermelon. Is it the size of her belly, guys? Not yet. Is it the size of her belly? One day. No, I don't know if you want it to be the size of your belly. <laughs> that would hurt. Looks pretty good, Ooh, guys. Smells delicious. Oh yeah, that does. Ooh, she's so excited. <laughs> she wants to cut it up, get in the bowl so it gets cold. Again, I think I'm reiterating this. Haley like can only. Fruit. Yeah, she only likes cold fruit. <laughs> That's weird. Only likes cold fruit. So weird. <laughs> Okay, I got something to say, everyone. So, I don't know why, I, I, it dumbfounds me. This is like, someone walks their dog in front of our house, I don't know who it is, I don't know the dog, and lets their dog poop on our yard. And it blows my mind, and I'm just like, what the heck? Who lets their dog freely poop on another person's yard and not pick it up? And I'm just like, that's just so rude and so indecent. I don't know why it gets me so much. It's like, I guess that's one of my pet peeves, I've, I've discovered this. But you know what I want to do? Like, if I could ever see the person, I'd say, Sir, ma'am, please, would you just, you know, clean up your dog's poop? You can poop on a lawn. Just pick it up. Throw it away, you know? Um, but if they were rude, oh, man, I'd want to pull one of those stunts where I pick up all their dog's poop on our yard because there's like three or four piles. And I, I don't want to, I hate having to pick it up because I'm a dog. And what I would want to do is gather up all the dog's poop, put it in a brown bag, and burn it on the doorstep. I want to. You know what? And if they're even super rude, I might just go poop on their yard myself teach them a, a lesson but I, but because i you know i wouldn't really do that no i might i don't know it depends how they react <laughs> on another story it reminds me of when i was in brazil we played like barefoot foot volley is what they call it fuchi volley for those of you from brazil um but they play volleyball with their feet it's like soccer everything in brazil every sport they turn around to be like soccer <laughs> or fuchi ball but um they uh i was playing one day and I stepped in cat like dog poop, like barefoot, squished through the toes, dog poop. Absolutely disgusting. I've cleaned my foot so many times, I thought I was gonna, I thought my foot was gonna like fall off from being like rotted off with like nasty diseases. But that's my that's my dog poop story. I stepped in dog poop, squished through the toes. Pretty gross. Well everyone, this is gonna be a good night for us. Haley's already laying in bed. Uh watermelon was kind of a disappointment, huh? Yeah, it was a disappointment, wasn't it? Watermelon. Mm. Yeah, she's sad. Pretty sad. Sad to like eat it all tonight, but she does not like it. It kind of got a rubbery texture to it. And it just got weird. I don't know. I'm still going to eat it because I don't like wasting it. It's still all right for me, but this is it, guys. Looks good, but looks can be deceiving. So this is gonna, we're going to call it a night tonight, and we'll hopefully see you guys tomorrow or the next day. We'll figure out what footage we're going to get. Good night. Thanks for watching.